everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. You all know who it is, or at least I hope you do by now if you're here. But if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Anyways, before we get started on whatever today's project is, well, at least I know what it is, I just want to show you this. Look at what my cat did to me. That cat, my topaz girl, she has no idea how good she has it. And look what I get for it. I gotta have a talk with her. Hang on a sec. What do you have to say about this? Hmm? Do you have anything to say about what you did to me? Hmm? Anything? Do you feel even the slightest bit guilty? Are you purring? You see this? No guilt whatsoever. Really? Nothing? See the hostile environment I gotta work in? Okay, so you are probably not here to listen to my woes about my fuzzy little demon. But I'm quite certain that what you are curious about is what I have in store for today's video. Well, I'll show you. Okay, so these are the metallic pens that I had shown before during my Amazon unboxing when I did that Amazon art unboxing haul thing, which was a lot of fun. Well, these were one of the items that I had unboxed. These beautiful, beautiful metallic pens. And, and I mean, like, th this is some nice, sturdy packaging. Let's open it up. Look at this. All of the pens are individually wrapped. Now that is fancy. And I've got some uh, metallic pens that I picked up at Walmart because reasons. And I'm bringing back the Canson XL Black Sketchbook. So I am really, really looking forward to this. Oh, there I go, shaking my camera. Let's get started. Okay, so here are these, which really, let's be honest, these are just kind of an extra tack on. Um, <laughs> what I'm really, really interested in are these. I mean, like, just look at that. Individually wrapped and, oh, gotta shake them up. I wonder if these are anything like those paint pens that I used, kind of the, the ones that were uh, Crayola's take on Posca, near as I can tell. If you're interested in that, I will have a link in the description below. Oh yeah, I'm also trying to make sure I don't get antibiotic ointment all over the place. So, um, eh, hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm going to unwrap one of these just so that we can take a better look at the tip. Okay, well, in... In theory, anyway, in theory, I'm gonna open up this pen. Ah, there we go. Found a weakness in the plastic. Aha. And this one, it's like, based on what I see around the pen, it looks like it's gonna be a really, really pretty color. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. The pen, they. Oops. Um, okay, so let's not do that. So you don't unscrew it, you just... Oh, oh, geez. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um... Hmm. Wondering if I messed up something when I accidentally... Screwed that. 
Oh boy. I'm hoping I didn't just ruin my nice fancy new pens. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, I fixed it. So here is the pen itself. Call it a neon gel pen. Even though this really doesn't look like any gel pen I've ever seen. Now then I... Like it feels like there's a little ball inside there. So I just... Just shake it. And nothing happens. Huh. Okay. Do they have directions on the back of the box? Shake several times, press the tip up and down for a while, cap the pen tightly after use. Okay, so this is gonna be a while. So I'm gonna shake it again. off one of my lights by accident. I'm really, really hoping that this shows up on the black paper. So switch to a blank page. Ah, there we go. There we go. We have lift off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, worth the wait. Oh, that color is amazing. Look at that. Look at how glittery and metallic that is. Mm, love it. Okay, so I am going to unwrap the rest of these. I'm pretty sure that you don't care about that. However, you might care about the swatching of these, so... um. Just wait a moment. Don't go anywhere. Please, please, don't go anywhere. Okay, here's how to do it. Okay, yeah, and I'm not doing these swatches in any particular order. I'm just doing them, trying to get them out. Oh, wow. That color is just amazing. Yeah, look at that. So glittery. And... When you turn the page so far okay that one it's starting to buckle the page a little bit so I might have gone a little heavy-handed with that one anyways I'm gonna swatch the rest of these out oh yeah and probably better open up these two in their plain packaging but hey they're still metallic so and metallic is always fun Okay, so we've got the swatches, nice and glittery. Hopefully you can see that, even though these two look very, very similar. But, um, oh well, I mean, hey, it, it, it's glitter, it's sparkly. This was supposed to be black, even though it's overrun with red glitter, but oh well. And of course, you got the metallic switch, those pin gear, those were basically knockoff Sharpies. Of course, hey, that's okay. 
we will still find something to do with them. Anyways, so I've got glitter, I've got metallics, my neighbor is doing something very odd outside, I'm not sure if you can hear that noise, and I have a white Prismacolor erase. So what to do? And there goes Doggo barking. Let's see here, maybe maybe I can thumbnail something, you know, that thing that I very rarely do, but a lot of artists like doing. Because <sighs> one thing that had crossed my mind was doing, like, kind of a, a detailed butterfly wings. I mean, like, I, not only is there the butterfly on the packaging... But I, I, I do just love butterfly wings in general. And all of these nice bright metallics and glitter would really lend themselves well to something like that. At least I think so. And of course on this fabulous, fabulous black paper. I'm just not sure quite what to do exactly. go what's more uh, a natural realistic or should I go with kind of a fairy style I'm not sure yet either way I, I love these glitter paint gel whatever it is you want to call them I think these things are terrific either way. Because it's like I also really want to use the black of the paper to help set things off. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. But this is why we test things out. Okay, so here's something. Like, you know, sometimes when you can't... Bleh, 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 bleh. Sometimes when you just can't really decide... Combine. There we go. Okay, now I'm not entirely certain where I'm going with this, but... I, I think I've got an idea in mind, so uh, please bear with me. Okay, I should probably wait for this to dry before I turn the page. Uh, just a moment, please. I just couldn't decide if I wanted to go for a fairy style wing or a butterfly wing. And then I decided that I should just split the difference. I know I just said that, but twice is nice, right? 
I mean, I did thumbnails and everything. Totally branching out here. Now, while I'm usually one for doing quote-unquote whole and quote-unquote again, complete drawings, just doing a piece or study, again, quote-unquote, if you will, is a new experience for me. One thing I used to think was that doing, quote-unquote, bits and pieces was a waste of time and valuable supplies. Figured you all might be getting sick of quote-unquote by now. Okay, now I just need to find out the secret of time travel, go back to 2007, and smack teenage me upside the head. Kind of the same story with swatching out art supplies. It's not a waste, it's valuable practice. So let this be a lesson in life, regardless of your age. It's never too late. And it's okay to look back on your younger self and realize, Wow, I was dumb back then. All right, so here we go. I'm really, really happy with how this sketch turned out. I, I just love these details. I am both really, really excited and also kind of nervous. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out how exactly I should do this if I want like a gradient going this way or if I want it going this way. I cannot make up my mind, but I think I might do it going this way. <sighs> How am I going to do this? Okay, well here, this says it's black, there's a lot of red in there. So, let's see here. If I can ever get the cap off. Okay, so, jeez, these crazy caps are going to be the death of me. First off, getting these pens going can be a bit of a pain. Okay, a lot of a pain. Tap, 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 Splat. Also, as you can see from the swatches, the colors on the caps and barrels do not really match the colors of the ink or glitter necessarily for that matter, which is why swatching is so important. As for using these pens for coloring, it's a time-consuming endeavor. Since you color in a small section, the pen goes dry, then you gotta shake and tap the pen nib on a piece of scratch paper. Trust me, unless you want your final piece to look like it's been peppered with tiny BBs, do this number on a piece of scratch paper. Now, while the pen is nice and juicy, the coverage is amazing. However, when it starts running dry, it's like bone left in death valley on a hot summer day, dry. So you gotta interrupt your workflow to tap the bejesus out of them. Which can get frustrating AF, I might add. Now then, the pen plus gear, Sharpie knockoffs, went down on the paper super smooth, great overall coverage, which for what equates to 50 cents a pen is not half bad. These pens, both sets, were a blast to use overall, even with the mildly irritating quirks of the glitter paint pens. I will warn you, your arms and wrists may become tired with all that shaking, tapping, and other hassles that do unfortunately come with these pens. There is a reason why I left in some real-time footage of shaking up these glitter pens. 
Mm-hmm. I want you guys to get the authentic experience. You're welcome. All right, and here we are. Look at that. Ooh, so shiny, so glittery. Okay, this this came out beautifully. Now then, while the colors on the pens, eh, they're all. Now then, while all the colors that are listed on these pens aren't necessarily the colors that come down on the paper. These were still a lot of fun to use. Yeah, oh yeah, let's see here. I went a little heavy in places. No bleed through. So once again, this paper, this is I, I, I really enjoy this black paper. I really do. So one thing I noticed was that some of these pens when you needed to here, hang on. Like it is a little bit leaky I want to say and of course some of them well look at my hand I colored on that too but when I was stamping it let's see if this one will do it I might need to get another color one of one of the pens I think it was one of the green ones it was particularly obnoxious Of course, now that I'm trying to get it to do that, it's not doing it. Ah, uh, there. Do you see that a little? Eh, come on. Focus camera. It would kind of bubble up. I'm not really sure if you, you do you see that little bubble there. Yeah, this one, that one's really, really small, but it would get bigger. They, they would form bigger, so... They were a little bit tricky to use for prolonged periods of time. However, I still greatly enjoyed them. I'm really glad I picked them up. If I recall correctly, they were about $18 plus tax on Amazon. I will um, take a look and make sure that that price is right for you and it will show up on the screen now. Okay, so that's settled. If I had to give these things a numerical rating, ooh, I would say that a 6.5 out of 10 would be fair because they were fun to use. I love the glitter. I love the effects. Uh, however, there were some inconveniences like having to shake the bejesus out of them before starting although I think that me um tearing apart the pen at the beginning that was my own silly fault so I can't dock them points for that however it was just like having to constantly do this number that got old really fast however the overall effects, I love the glitter, so, and remember, this is my personal opinion. If you really want to know for yourself, the best way would be to get yourself a set and try it out. As for these, which were about $2 at Walmart, which equates to about 50 cents a pen, which isn't bad. Uh, the ink went down surprisingly smooth, and, and they were easy to use, so... While the, the colors are kind of limited in this little set, I enjoyed using them. I don't regret it. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's video. Please be sure to leave a like, and... Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, especially if these videos have been helping you out. It, oh, I didn't even notice that. Huh. Where was I? Train of thought derailed. Oh yes, like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
And hit the bell notification so that you'll know exactly when I post a new video. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!